sleep wherever you could under a tree. All depends on where you wound up. Find cardboard or anything you can cover up with. Cardboard did help uh, protect it from the ground. It wasn't real good in the rain, but uh, better than nothing. And that's all I had at the time, was a sleeping bag. And that's what I slept in outside and on the snowbank. I've slept in anywhere from dumpsters to amazing piles to anywhere I could try to stay warm. And it's not like I was proud of the fact or anything like that. It's just I did what I had to do. It's always um, a fantastic day at Anchorage Community Mental Health when somebody receives housing. It's really always a joyous occasion and um, generally you build immediate rapport and trust with that client because they're just so happy and thankful to um, receive housing. And, uh, and just that is really uh, the start, the beginning of, of recovery is the day that somebody moves in. The Housing First model really believes that um, people need a stable place and a home to live in in order to promote their recovery. So, um, and in order to start that recovery, you need to have a home, and so, um, hence, Housing First. So, we place people in housing uh, unconditionally, and then we wrap intensive supportive services around them uh, to start their recovery and to make them successful in housing. We are looking for the most vulnerable homeless people. So we're looking for the people who have a uh, serious mental illness, uh, more often than not co-occurring disorders, uh, substance abuse and mental health, and who have been on the street a very long time, five, 10, 15, 20 years. We're looking for those type of clients in our housing programs because those are the type of clients that really um, need the most support in our community and need this type of intensive services. This is where I live, and it's great. Uh, they got apartment buildings upstairs, and they got elevator on here, laundry room, upstairs and downstairs. So it's, it's very convenient for everyone that lives here. I feel great, excited, static, <laughs> and I'm happy. I am. Uh, it's I'm more than happy. <laughs> I can't be no more happier than what I am. I'm very grateful. And uh, I'm learning to live like I'm supposed to. I love myself. I didn't love myself before. I was out in the streets and, and things for 16 years. All I had at the time was a sleeping bag. And that's what I slept in outside in, on the snowbank. But I was just lucky it didn't freeze to death though. And downtown used to be just white tent city. That's how I learned to grow. It was tough times back then. Some did get away from doing all this stuff, some didn't. Uh, I was like seeing things uh, and it would scare me. So I came back up here and turned myself into the people here at uh, Alaska Mental Health. Cause I came back, I was really ill. Um, but between the doctors, Alaska Mental Health, and uh, the churches and stuff, they helped me out very, very much. Miracles always happening. I love my Lord Hard Power because he's the one brought me too out of a lot of agony and suffering. I love going to church. They come pick me up every Sunday at 11 o'clock. I just like being there for people. I like people. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving my life. Either way it goes, I'm happy. I'm good. I, I, I'm, I'm loving what I can do for myself uh, and things because of what's going on in my life. And I love it and I ain't going nowhere. Mm -mm. This is my home now. Yes, I'm very proud of my place. I love it. I ain't moving. Uh-uh.
they ain't gonna get me out of here. They'll be fine. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm grateful. Many people um, get the medication they need, get the therapy they need, get their primary care um, straightened out, and, and really start um, towards a life of recovery. We're trying to use our housing and homelessness services uh, in the best way we can to serve the community. Housing First does save the community a tremendous amount of money. Housing First, with the supportive services, is a very cost-effective mechanism for serving people and it's also very very effective 80 percent of people that we put into housing retain their housing for a year or more being homeless in alaska um, is dangerous just because of the severe weather conditions um, you know people uh, end up with limbs amputated many people get uh, immersion foot from their feet being wet and a whole host of other uh, frostbite and cold weather related injuries that really impact people's primary care um, and eventually their, their entire lives. Thank God I'm not uh, homeless right now. It's just so cold out there and I, can't, I couldn't do another winter. I'm so happy to be in a place again really enjoy it. Family can visit. Son stops by uh, once or twice a week. It's all coming around. Not easy out there by yourself. By this time, this far into the winter, I'd probably be dead. Either frozen to death or beaten to death. Together, I've been homeless almost four to five years. Yeah, it's just uh, really stressful and depressing. It's just night by night. You never know what's going to happen. It's trying to stay warm, even in a tent in dead winter, it's very, very hard, even if you have a heater, to stay warm. I lost some, some toes and stuff over there. I made a mistake and uh, stayed out too long. I uh, had to go to the bathroom and went to sleep. My feet were burning, so I stuck them out from underneath the sleeping bags and uh, went to sleep. And when I woke up in the morning, they were frozen. They turned all charcoal black. It's the worst pain I've ever felt, worse than the stab wound or worse than the gunshot. So, I was two months in Alaska Regional the first time, and uh, the morphine doesn't even cut the pain. It took me a year in a wheelchair to, to walk again. I'm just glad they didn't cut them off. The second time I didn't know how much I was going to lose on that one. And I've been pretty fortunate that I still can walk. It's hard, but I can walk. I've survived. It's just, uh, with some help from everybody, uh, especially from Anchorage Community Mental Health. They've helped me 100%. I literally walked in and asked the desk person if I could speak to a counselor or somebody about getting some help. And that's how I met my counselor. She was very helpful and understood what my problem was and did the initial intake and uh, realized I, I need some help and cared enough to, to take care of it. Uh, life is changing for me, for the better. Good things do happen, and then there's good people. Anchorage Community Mental Health Services believes that everybody deserves a home. Um, particularly people with disabilities in our community deserve to have a safe and warm place to live, and we also believe that Recovery can't begin without uh, a stable home for people. I believe the Housing First model works because people that are homeless want a home more than anything else. Uh, if you ask somebody that was homeless what do they want, and they want a safe, decent, warm place to go that they can call their own. And uh, 
you know, I think when you work where people are at and what they want, um, then you can keep moving forward with a person to address all of the other issues that they need to promote their recovery. So when I walked in here, knowing that I had got the keys, I did a little dance like this. Oh yeah, I just dance, dance, dance. Yeah.